Hi there, I'm Ross Woodfield. Welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting off with the US dollar index and it returned to its bearish ways. The JOLTS job openings report was released and disappointed the market at 4.99 million versus 5.16 million expected. There have been a number of economic indicators that have, that have returned weak results recently and there's real concern that the US is heading for a downturn. The weak results make it difficult for the Fed to justify a rate rise in June, so we are likely to see further weakness in the dollar in the months ahead. Looking now at the pound, and it hadn't had another strong day as the post-election party continued and the US dollar weakened. Further adding to the bullish sentiment was the US manufacturing production report, which showed growth in the sector at 0.4% and slightly up on the expected 0.3%. The pound was also buoyed by the GDP estimate, which came in at 0.4% quarter on quarter, which is better than the previous GDP result at 0.3% quarterly growth. It seems that the UK is somewhat immune to the troubles affecting its main trading partners. And moving on now to oil, and it rallied over $2 a barrel on a raft of supply and demand figures released by OPEC. The report shows that global demand for oil increasing over the course of 2015 as economic growth strengthens. OPEC expects demand to increase by 1.18 million barrels per day, up from 1.17 million last month. The report pointed to supply from non-OPEC non oil producers growing this year, albeit at a slower pace. Now this report uh, certainly paints a rosy picture if you're an oil cartel, but I'd take it with a grain of salt, especially on the demand side with China and the US expecting a slowdown later this year. And finally today we have just seen the Japanese balance of payments figures released and they have provided the yen with a bit of strength. The current account balance has come in well above expectations with a surplus of 2.8 trillion yen versus last month's 1.4 trillion. And this is the ninth surplus in a row and reflects the strong overseas income growth and the falling energy import prices. That's all we have time for today. For Blackwell Global, I'm Ross Woodfield. Thanks for watching.